We are begging government to come for our help. Let them bring back that subsidy. If that sh should help us, so that everything will come down. No food, nothing. Because after now, the rate of people that will die in this country will not be counted because of hunger, because of frustration, because of bad leadership. For my own understanding, I would have advised government to let them go into production. Understand? As they have removed this. This is the Niger we need, and uh, my name is Shedrak. And this is about 150 days the presidential election is done, and then the new government entered, that is the All Progressive Party, APC. So we are going to the streets, we are in the streets. We want to know the updates. Are things good? Are things bad? Are things worse? Are things trying to get better and the rest of them? So we are focusing on the transportation uh, sector, and then we want to know the cost of transportation in Nigeria today due to the fuel subsidy has it really affected in a very very bad way or in a very good way so stick with us and then this is the Niger we need and we're on the Facebook Instagram Twitter YouTube and TikTok so thank you as we ask people on the road and remember we're gonna be having a studio section with people who are gonna give us solution on how the subsidy is gonna actually be effective and drastically help the country Nigeria so let's go today now Afternoon. Yeah, so what have changed uh, in the 140 days, over 100 days of Bola Metinibu in the office? Like what have changed drastically in the East here? Well, actually, uh, the thing is that things are very difficult. The changes that we will be expecting that things good will come mm. as in uh, Tinubu will emerge as a president of this country. But later we are seeing what we don't expect. Like fuel subsidy removal now have bring hardship. Things are very difficult. Before you get to food to chop, you will toil for the whole day. At the end, you will buy fuel as we the ride Okada. After buying fuel, you will go home without any one naira. In fact, if you go to market to buy things, commodities, I mean uh, food items are very costly. Before you get money to buy all those things you will do like this and not only that after doing all those things you will not see anything so for 104 days abi over 100 days. over 100 days in the office in fact i myself particularly i'm not getting myself things are very difficult for me okay. do you think that the citizen also contributes in this problem apart from government do you think that the citizen are also involved in the hardship going on in the country well i can't say that citizen are involved but actually we let it on our leaders, our leaders, because this fuel we are talking about is what is our problem. If they can bring back that fuel subsidy, if they can bring it back, so that we know whether things will come down small, things will come down small. In fact, we are suffering, everybody is crying. So if adding citizen to it, I never know because I myself particularly, I, there is nothing, I, I, I'm self-independent. I'm hustling for my own. Government are not paying me anything. But from that hustling, where are the hustle before? I they manage it, they feed my family, they pay their school fees. But now, I they hustle from Monday to Saturday. To, to even buy food is a very big problem to me. So I can't say that citizens are contributing. But if they want it to be like that, everybody will follow the work. They give us a job. Many people are graduate, they are running they are running bike. Some people are there for Keke line, but yet nothing day. So we are begging government to come for our help. Let them bring back that subsidy. If that sh should help us so that everything will come down. No food, nothing. Okay, see cooking gas now is 100 and diesel is 1,000 and I mean 1,000 naira and then the other one 1,002. Fuel is 700, 620. So it's too much. It's too much. Let them help us. Let them know what to do about it. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my brother. Uh, so what is the problem with Nigeria? Do you think Nigeria is going to be better with this APC government, this recent APC government? And then what's your experience? Assuming it will be better, these old men, old fools, have to die first. Because... We are talking, when we talk about uh, uh, the youth, the future of tomorrow, we are no more the future of tomorrow. 
the, the old fools have grabbed the whole, uh, the whole thing on their own. And now, when we are, we, when we are talking about this fuel subsidy, we are not benefiting from anything. This government of 18 is not helping. We are dying of hunger and frustration. Many of us here are a graduate, but yet we are doing nothing. Crimes is increasing every day. Corruption is increasing every day. Imagine when those people who thought they are our leaders are manipulating what, what is so, uh, supposed to uh, give to us. They manipulate them. They, they mandate, they manipulate them. Everything is corrupt. Even the water we are drinking is contaminated. Even the breeze we are breathing we are, is also contaminated because of the bad government. We want to, uh, you know, have a, a change of this bad government. If they should look into the citizens and find out that we are suffering, we are crying. Assuming everybody died now, who are they going to rule? We are no more happy, honestly speaking. The youth are no more happy. The citizens of the state are no more happy. Please, if there is anything that will change this government, we have to do it now. Before, because after now, the rate of people that will die in this country will not be counted because of hunger, because of frustration, because of bad leadership. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. So, as a KK rider, what has been the problem, like the challenges recently in, in this um, government, present government now? <clears throat> it is very much because. Fuel we usually buy 210 now 620. So the thing now bring uh, everything high. Understand? Whereby to cope is very difficult. Uh, we are making, for instance, initially we buy fuel of 3,000 naira per day, the whole day. Now we can buy 9,000 naira. Fuel we can get the margin is much. Going home, you go with nothing. For instance, initially I usually go with 6,000, but now that 6,000 naira, I would now put inside fuel. Do you understand? So that is very much. You cannot compare life with death. This one is just like, compare life with death. Initial time is better than this. Understand? So it's very difficult. When you go to market, things are very cost. The cost of living are very high. So now, for my own understanding, I would have advised the government to let them go into production. Understand? As they have removed the subsidy, they will now do something about uh, to make sure that they, they they must put inside of production. Without that production, nothing. We are going nowhere. For now, a bushel of rice is twenty thousand. For this June now, this uh, raining time, talk about of that uh, dry time where people are competitive to buy rice based on December. To be that kind to attract thirty thousand per bushel, who can afford it? Uh, and they understand so. I'm trying to, I can't know what to say, but what I'm saying, the government should do something. Let them go into production and the issue of fuel, they would go and they do their refinery. Those men, when they remove them, they do something. We are dying here. We are dying. These are not better. Understand? Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome, sir. So, how has this um, administration affected? your business i know you ride okada so how has it affected your business in the past four months and six months the economy currently is unfriendly to our business because the high rate of uh, fuel price is actually causing downfall in our income in the sense that for a whole day it's very difficult for you to make a saving of three thousand naira so we can, there is a instance in, in the sense that the high cost of the fuel has reduced drastically the, the inflow of incomes based on our, as a motorcyclist. So it affects us both in financial and other achievement aspects. Some of us, we have children, we are paying their school fees. We have changed some of them from school that their, their school fees is high to lower ones because we can't meet up the school fees change. Then in a day, we can also, very difficult for we to feed well our family. 
because of the because of the high rate of uh, fuel price so people don't longer travel the same way it was before and we do not make much money as usual so the it for people to travel you must have an urgent or unavoidable need at home that will make you to travel so when you reach when they reach back if you tell them 1500 or 800 naira to a village they will tell you that what they are having is 300 naira or 400 naira you now consider how will you cope going home with 600 naira then you spend the 700 naira buying one liter of fuel which will not sustain you to a very far distance so all these things it has affected us drastically so the level which the level of the economy by the present government is not encouraging so they should look forward to minimize high rate of inflection based on the fuel sector and it has also affected other areas both academics both the other business areas in life for that we plead for the government to look into it to know what to do towards the fuel price of a team thank you, thank you so much yeah. good afternoon my dear so what have gone wrong in your business of today in 2023 we are all right you're yeah, welcome yeah. for the past few months now since the removal of the fuel subsidy the effect has been very high on the citizens on in, in a very difficult and negative way because since the fuel since the pump price of fuel has gone to 700 to 800 naira per liter without being told the citizenry are, are cannot welcome it and it's affecting us negatively so for the cyclists you can imagine the situation here where you can buy a fuel at the rate of 700 naira or so and then the passengers or the customers will be asking you 150, 200 naira. You can imagine what will happen at the end of the day. So we urge the present government, if possible, to revise the pump price of the fuel for the interest of the masses. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much. So from the observation so far, the fuel subsidy is the problem of the day in this country. So nothing else is kind of like fuel, fuel affects every aspect of life in Nigeria today. And then it affects the cyclists to even pay school fees for their children, knowing that school fees is on a very high rate. So this country, please, the government, do something about the fuel. And then everybody will be happy again once more. Thank you so much.